Hi YouTubers, welcome to my DVD, Blu-ray, and comic book update. Now I'm also going to show two other things. I'll just show you the, that's one of the two PS4 games I got. First is Batman Arkham Knight. Really good game. It's the, the game, the end of the series. I just uh, beat the Scarecrow missions. And out of, out of the four games that came out, this is probably my either second or third favorite. The first, Arkham Asylum, is probably my favorite one out of all of them. Followed by this one, or uh, City. And I got the Godzilla game yesterday. Uh, this game is not your typical Godzilla, you know, fighting game. It's 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 a little different. I only played uh, like three stages of it. You have stages where you have to destroy reactors to complete the stage, but before you destroy the last reactor, there's a monster yet. You you know you have to fight, and that's basically the whole game. The controls are different. I really wouldn't recommend this if you're not a, a Godzilla fan. But if you are, rent it, check it out, and then I have a really small area today to work with because I have all my comics on this side. But let's start with the comic books and then we'll go to the DVDs. You know, there's a lot to go through. First is Detective Comics, issue 596. I bought a lot of, uh, tried to buy a lot of Batman comics this time because of the uh, Batman Superman movies coming out. Detective Comics, issue 597. Batman Detective Comics, issue 722. Aftershock. And this is issue 786, Shadow of the Bat. This is issue 787. And Batman. 703. Seven oh four and next is just trying to straighten up the stuff behind me here. I'm trying to get it a little closer. Batman issues four seventy six. Four eighty one. Five eighteen and next is Batwoman New Fifty Two Issue Five. I like the cover. That girl, New Fifty Two Annual Number Two. Next is Fat Girl Fifty Five War Games Act One Part Six of Eight. Fat Girl Fifty Six Act Two.
57. Neck three. Next is the Incredible Hulk, issue three, sixty four, part one of four. What if the Fantastic Four all had the same power? Issue 11. Oh look, it's Man-Thing. What if the Punisher's family hadn't been killed? Issue 10. King size annual, the Mighty Thor, issue nine. Looks like some Thor goodness. Ghost Rider, the original Ghost Rider rides again, part one of seven, issue one. And issue four. I was looking for issue two and three to go with it, but they didn't have it. Iron Man, issue 138. And The Incredible Hulk, issue 302. Which I could not finish reading because it didn't have the first two pages. And I, I started reading it, and then it didn't have another page. It's like the pages were ripped out, so I stopped reading it. Marvel Comics presents Wolverine, plus three more all new features. It's issue nine. Marvel 2 and 1, The Thing versus Hyperion. Or Hyperion. It's issue 67. Another Marvel 2 and 1, featuring The Thing and a question mark. Issue 70. Last of the comic books is Conan the Barbarian, issue 67. They get a lot of comics, but got a buttload of movies. The, the Running Man special edition. Got a bunch of special features here. Documentary. Audio, co audio commentary, two audio commentaries. Next is Jet Li, the master. Always wanted to buy this one, but uh, can never find it. Next is Charlie's Angels, super bit. Got that big lots for three bucks. I like the first Charlie's Angels, but the second one, uh, not as much. It follows really good movie. If you've seen the trailer, you basically know what, what it's about. Uh, the ending was, a uh, you know, I would say it's not as great as the whole movie itself, but the whole movie itself. A seeds what the you know what the ending is it's just I like it I recommend it the town that dreaded sundown the remake which is superior better it's a hell of a lot better than the original check it out it's also a good movie silent warnings 
it's it's good. It's it's not as as, to as, as good as that or the, it follows, but it's all right. They should use practical effects for the aliens instead of CGI. That's that's what killed it for me. Wrong turn six, last resort. This is like a Skinamax flick. It's like they took wrong turn and turned it into a porn. That's how, basically how I feel about wrong turn six. And out of all of them, that's the worst. Let's try to move these out of the way. Next Blu rays, it's. Wrong Turn 5, Bloodlines. This is... It's a little bit better than Wrong Turn 6. I watched it last night. But it's not as good as the first three. Jet Li, the one. Special edition. I'm guessing they're one scene. The one, so... I like it. This is the end. Good movie. Good comedy. Check it out if you haven't seen it. The Blu-ray exclusives, gag reel, deleted scenes, Lino Rama, Meta Apocalypse, Party Time, The Cannibal King. Let's get technical. The Making of, The Making of, Pineapple Express Two. Jay and Seth versus the Apocalypse, the original short. Also, it's got commentary with Seth Rogen. And directing your friends, this is the marketing. Good movie. I got all, uh, yeah, I got all that at Big Lots. Plus, I got Rocky, the first one. I don't know what you call this book thing, but yeah, I got this at Big Lots also. I don't think I have any of the Rocky movies. I have, I have the uh, his Rambo movies. But that's the four blue. Well, no, yeah, got two more. The birds. That's an Fye. And black sheep. I think I got this at F Y E too. I've seen it before. They're both good. Next is I Always Know What You Did Last Summer, the sequel. I actually thought this was the first one, and I grabbed it at Big Lots for $3. And when I got home, I was like, oh, damn. But it's okay. This is Ebola Zombies. I'm guessing it's. Chinese, Thai, something like that. I don't know. Got that. I got Dragon Wars. It's an alright movie. For three dollars, I get it. From Big Lots. Robocop Steel Book. Big Lots five bucks. I love my steel books. Uh, what is this? Tooth and Nail. Part of the After Dark Horror Fest. Haven't seen it. Xeno Warrior Princess Season 5. Me and the wife are in process of watching that. Madhouse from FYE. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. I don't know if it's good. The Legend of Boggy Creek. I do not remember which Bigfoot movie this is. I've seen two. And I'll probably watch this sometime today. The Devil's Tomb. Haven't seen this either. It's got Ron Perlman and uh, uh, Kobe Gooden Jr. And what's his name? Henry Rollins. Got Superbad. Loved this when I first saw it. I thought, hell, I 
get it again. Boogeyman, which I thought this, well, my wife grabbed this, but I seen one that had two discs, and I've seen this before on T, not on TV, but on Netflix, so when she got this, and I told her to grab it for me, and paid for it, came home, looked on the side, this is volume one, I was like, wait a minute, is there two discs of this? Says it's only 58 minutes long. I don't know. Uh, open season from the grandkid. Absentia or whatever. Haven't seen it. Last but not least is The Hunted with Christopher Lambert. Seen it before. It's about a guy that goes through Japan. He meets the woman, a Japanese woman. And he has sex with her. And then he wakes up and she's dead. And then he's blamed for the murder. And then he's trying to prove himself, you know, not guilty through the whole movie. But that's all the stuff I grabbed for the past two weeks. Plus the comics and the two games. I'm going to probably go out and grab some more comic books today. Which I go on to the next video. But thanks for watching. Take care. And have a good one.